Hello everyone, welcome back to my mathematics channel. For today's uh, video lesson, I will share with you one of the most amazing topic in Form 5 KSSN new syllabus. There is a topic so called tessellation. So this topic is very interesting and I would like to take the opportunity to share with you the meaning of tessellation and the application of tessellation in our daily life so I actually create the lesson to explain the meaning of the tessellation and I also share with you the video teaching conducted by study Park about the tessellation exercise so enjoy the video teaching and have fun
Hi, welcome to this question right here. So it's asking you what transformation are used in this tessellation? Well, by looking at this diagram right here, I can kind of say that maybe it's been rotated along the center point right here. Okay, so I can say it's been reflected. Okay, I can say it's reflected from top to bottom, left to right, or it's been translated, for example, just kind of moving left to right or top to bottom again. And I can also say it's been uh, rotate, rotation. Uh, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and finally back again. So, this one right here, the transformation that I use, if you picture this as one piece of the polygon here, or the, 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 the figure, we can actually say that this figure right here is being reflected, okay? There's a reflection. And how do we how do we reflect this? Uh, you could ask, you could reflect on the x-axis and then reflect on the y-axis, so it works, right? Uh, and you can also do a translation, okay? Translation. What the translation means is just means you can actually move it. You can pick it up, move it to the left, move it to the right, move it down, move it up. You still get the same figures all over the place, and they're they can stack together. So translation also works just as well. And the last one that I think it's also the rotation will work too. See what we can do is again we can use this as a vertice right here. And imagine if I can just rotate it 90 degrees this way, and then rotate again 90 degrees this way, and rotate 90 degrees, you get yourself the four exact same figures. Okay, so the rotation also works just as well as well. That's a lot of well right there. So my answer for this question. I have all three of them, reflection, translation, and rotation. Okay, thanks for watching. Hi, welcome to the question right here. So what can we do? What type of transformation can we do uh, to get this tessellation? Well, if you look at it, you can actually choose, let's say, reflection. Okay, so my first answer is I am going to pick my reflection. And the reason I pick my reflection is because I can simply take this whole thing right here. You see that? I can pick this as one figure. And then I'm just going to reflect it to the left. That's it. To reflect it on the y axis, it works. I can also reflect it on the x axis, which is over here. See, if I reflect it down, I get exact. Same graph. Okay. Oh, is that the only choice I have? No, what about translation? Have you ever done translation before? Translation just means that you can move it left and right. So imagine if I just pick this whole thing right here, the first row right here, pick it up, translate to the right, I also get the same graph, okay, or the same pattern. So that way I can create my tessellation using the reflection, also using the translation. Both methods will get you the answer for sure. Oh, sorry, get you the tessellation, okay? Uh, in terms of last one, transformation, i probably thinking that it may not work by looking at it. It may or may not, okay? Because I can't really see it by rotating just the yellow. No, you had to do the yellow and the gray at the same time. So it looks like uh, there's no rooms for your uh, rotation. So just these two will be your final answer. Okay, thanks for watching. Hi, welcome to this question right here. So what kind of transformation can we do to create this tessellation? Um, in terms of the rotation, uh -uh, it wouldn't work, okay? So you can just imagine that if I'm gonna rotate about this point right there, um, if you flip it over, this line right here, once it touch here, it's not the same size, okay? So rotation probably wouldn't work. 
Um, can we do any reflection? Mm, probably not, because if you reflect it down, it seems like this side is a bit longer than this side. You don't get exact uh, tessellation figures going on. But the last one, which is known as the translation, okay, this one will work. Why? Because imagine if you just take this piece right here. You have to take the entire the gray, I mean the little light blue right there, and the yellow piece together, okay? Pick it up, slide it over, translate it, to over here, you place it down, you get the same tessellation going on, okay? You can also pick it up, slide it down this way. You also get the same, you also get the same figure. So the only way they can uh, transform your uh, the figure over here to create a tessellation to cover entire floor without no gaps. The answer for this one would just be the translation. Okay, thanks for watching. Hi, welcome to the question right here. So what can we do? What type of transformation can we do uh, to get this tessellation? Well, if you look at it, you can actually choose, let's say, reflection. Okay, so my first answer is I am going to pick my reflection. And the reason I pick my reflection is because I can simply take this whole thing right here. You see that? I can pick this as one figure. And then I'm just going to reflect it to the left. That's it. To reflect it on the y axis, it works. I can also reflect it on the x axis, which is over here. See, if I reflect it down, I get the exact same graph. I can reflect it here, I get the exact same graph. Okay? Oh, is that the only choice I have? No. What about translation? Have you ever done translation before? Translation just means that you can move it left and right. So imagine if I just pick this whole thing right here, the first row right here, pick it up, translate it to the right. I also get the same graph, okay, or the same pattern. So that way I can create my tessellation using the reflection, also using the translation. Both methods will get you the answer for sure. Oh, sorry, get you the tessellation, okay? Um, in terms of the last one, transformation, I probably thinking that it may not work by looking at it. It may or may not, okay? Because I can't really see it by rotating just the yellow. No, you had to do the yellow and the gray at the same time. So it looks like uh, there's no rooms for your uh, rotation. So just these two will be your final answer. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, thank you. That's all my sharing for today. I really hope that my sharing do help you in making the mathematics fun for you to study. Till then, I shall see you in my next video lesson. Bye-bye and have a nice day.